you know, this is first world problems, but I've noticed more and more restaurants are closed. Waffle House, Burger King, some other places, because they don't have enough staff. And I've noticed that my car wash was closed because they didn't have staff. So this is going to create a big problem for the economy. This is kind of what I feel is going on. People got used to not working. Let me say that again. They got used to not working. And now luxuries once tasted become necessities. People want that life where they can live, have a place to stay, have a car to drive, get a little stimulus money. And that, that a lot of people are happy with that. They're happy with that. For me, I could not live in a situation where I knew that I did not pay my mortgage, didn't pay my rent, didn't pay my car note. I would be up all night worrying about what's going to happen. But there's a group of people, and this this is something the military was on. The military doesn't like you let you take too long leave. They cap it because they know that if you're out of the military system, you lose your military bearing. And what has happened is many people have lost their work ethic. They've lost their working bearing. Maybe it's gone. I did a video the other day talking about the number of people who are quitting their jobs with no other job lined up. For someone in my group, age group, 54, soon to be 54, 55, doing the speed limit, <laughs> I would never ever quit my job and not have another one lined up. But we're living in a world of suspended animation because these people, once again, luxuries once tasted become necessities and people have become used to just getting by not thriving not living well not you know blowing it up but just making it just because once again free time this is one of the thing, the biggest ways that people sell products to you guys online you're going to get your free time back you're going to be able to quit your job you're going to be able to do this task skill set whatever and you're going to be able to get a lot of free time and i, I will admit it's addictive Having the time to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it, it's very, very addictive. And it's a luxury for most people. It is a luxury because one of my big issues with the car rental business is it imposes on my free time deeply. And now, like, these last few weeks have been much better, much better cars are not breaking down people are not trying to rent cars at 10 o'clock at night it's gotten much much better but in the next 6 to 12 months many of these people who are not going to work right now many of these jobs are going to disappear here's the game you think business is just like, okay, they don't want to show up for work. We're just going to raise up the money and we're going to pay them hostage wages. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. What business is going to do is what business has always done. Business is going to innovate. You're going to see 
the faster adaptation of automation because people don't want to go to work. You're going to see automation moving at a rapid pace. And if you're in the position to deploy automation, you're good to go. But if you're in the position where automation is going to replace you, get rid of your job, mm, about a year from now, we're going to see a different um, social changes. These jobs that people don't want to do, they have a job. They don't want to do it. These folks don't want to work their job that they're fit for. And let's talk about this, suitability. Everyone thinks that they are a CEO. Everyone thinks that they're a boss. But there's one fundamental problem with this. The first problem is, where are your boss skills? Where are your CEO skill sets? Where are they? You're living with a chick or you're living with some dude, or you're living with your parents, working a normal job that makes $30,000 a year or less, where are your boss skill sets? Where are your um, unique qualifications? See, right now, we're in the state of suspended animation where nothing makes sense. But as marketplace fundamentals come into the play, and they will. Sooner or later, real marketplace fundamentals are going to come into play. Right now, housing prices are starting to soften. You want to know why? The price of houses couldn't keep going up because once you put the price of houses beyond the average person's reach, you destroy the market. So there ain't no one buying houses because they can't afford them. We're moving toward that level. I don't think we're going to have a crash like 2008, but market housing prices are going to stop escalating. They're going to soften. And then the next big marketplace result is with the employee. Right now, people, like I said, people have jobs that they don't want to go to their job. They don't want to go to their job. And that's going to change in about a year. Once again, marketplace fundamentals. Once the harsh reality of living without a job, not going to a job, the stimulus money stops. Like the sugar baby index. I'm like, every day I see women who are 60, 50, and 40 years old. And who are these women? These are women who did not repair, who, who didn't prepare. They didn't build families. They don't have a network. They're out here on their own. They're out here on their own. And just like these women are forced, or well, not forced, they choose to do it. No one's forcing them to do it. They choose to do it. Just like these women are choosing to do something strange for a little change, all of these people who are resigning from their jobs, quitting their jobs, without, once the economic pain becomes too great to bear, this is when you're gonna see a change in behavior. This is when you're gonna see a change in attitudes. This is when you're gonna see a change in how people are getting down. This is when the change is gonna come. But right now, we have suspended animation. We have people who are living in a dream world. But once marketplace fundamentals kick in, once people begin to see the reality of winter, in this winter, like the other day, Seasons change, right? It, it was cool in the morning. When it gets cold, when it gets really, really cold, and there's no food in the refrigerator, 
there's no gas in the car, your power got turned off, your gas got turned off. At that point, people will change because they will be forced to change. They'll be forced to change. So I'm getting ready to do some new training. I was sitting around and I was thinking, what else do these people need? And I'm getting ready to do some other training. I'm gonna do some mindset training, discipline training, discipline. I don't have the discipline with working out like I used to. I gotta get that back. But I do have discipline for getting things accomplished. I have discipline for getting things done. And I'm gonna create a course for that. And if you're in the corporate papers, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna create all of this new training. And if you're in the corporate papers, you're gonna get it. So you don't have to worry about emailing me <laughs> or like, hey, what's going on? You don't have to pay for it, you're gonna get it. And uh, I'm gonna put that together today because it's Sunday and it's a, it's a good day to level up because when the pandemic started, what did I do? I went to work. Best year of my life economically. Best year ever. And you know what? Winter's coming. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Because see, for the people who want to go to work, for the people who want to quit their jobs, for the people who want to get another job, for the people who want to put in the work, winter's not coming. You're going to have heat. You're going to have fancy little dinners. You're going to have gas in your car. You're going to be attacked by the hobosexuals. The hobosexuals will be coming for you. The hobosexuals will want to move in with you. The hobosexuals will want to take it from a drawer to half the closet. So winter ain't coming. So I'm getting ready to do some new training. Uh, I'll do a video talking about that. And today at 5 p.m., we've got live training for the corporate paper people and the corporate citizens. We've got live training, 5 p.m. today. And we will be getting into that. So we're gonna be getting into a lot of training. If you've noticed, I've changed my content. I'm going to leave the apex predator thing alone. If you love these guys and you feel that their content's gonna make your life better, God bless you. God bless you. I'm going to focus on building. Building, building, building. So that's going to result in a different level of content. That's gonna result in different level of videos. I can't wait to move. I move October 15th. So I'm in the process of selling a lot of stuff. Yesterday, I sold a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace for the first time. I, I don't know what happened, <laughs> but Facebook Marketplace got live. I gave away some free stuff on Craigslist. Um, it's starting to move, because like I said, by Friday, I have two weeks before I move. Straight, fun fact, I put my washer and dryer on there because the place I'm moving in has a washer and dryer, so I'm not gonna need it. I got a bedroom, I got a bedroom set, a, a couch and sofa up there, and they didn't touch those, but I had several people who wanted the washer and dryer. I'm like, really? Come on, man, I need that. I'm gonna need that. I'll probably be able to sell that the first week of October. Just do my laundry, go ahead and get ready. Uh, I'm probably gonna sell that the end of the first week of October because the next week I move and I will have access to a washer and dryer. And um, y'all gonna love the new videos. This place is fancy. It's fancy, it's fancy. And I will be subject to the whims of the hobosexuals because I'm moving into a three bedroom. Couldn't like go down to a one bedroom. That that's I'll, I'm gonna have to have a home office and I'm uh, thinking about how I'm gonna trick out the home office. It's gonna probably take me three months to get it the place the way that I want it. Maybe, maybe three months. 
just depends because some of the furniture I'm looking at it ain't gonna be in stock until next year so we've got that situation but guys one of the things that we're gonna do is get into a deeper deeper level of training like I do the car business in the mornings and then I come back home and I start doing corporate paper stuff I was like the training that I did last week is the stuff that you need to get your business off the ground and start making money no one else on YouTube is talking about this everyone is trying to aim you to a social media online platform using some type of tactic that's not going to work long term it's just not uh, the more people who know about it the less effective it will be in the future what I am teaching you is how to start businesses from scratch I have started Conundrum Publishing from scratch I started the Upscale Garage Sale from scratch I started Savage Consulting Services from scratch I know how to start a business from scratch in the beginning it's going to be rough it's going to be rough. It's not going to be easy because you're starting it from scratch. It doesn't exist. It's not part of someone else's ecosystem. You're starting this from scratch. And I've been doing this 13 years on the YouTube platform. Who else has my track record? Not Graham Stephan. Not the, not the funny guy who won't, you don't know his name. None of these guys have my track record. None of them. They cannot say that they've been in business on YouTube for 12 years. Not a one of them can say that. Been making money on YouTube for 12, 13 years. 13 years, just entered my 13th year. Who else has that track record? And once again, for you guys who wanna do YouTube, every time I talk to someone about YouTube, everyone has the feeling that they're, it's gonna be quick. Your YouTube journey more than likely it's gonna be a year or two of consistent work, of consistently putting up in videos, consistently finding out what your marketplace wants. A year or two. But once you get it built, woo woo, woo woo. All right, so once again, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have the new training before I drop this video, but I'm gonna work on that today and the corporate citizens will get that. I will have Deanna just transfer everyone that's in the corporate papers to this new training and we're going to begin to cook with some gas cook with some gas all right that's all i got for you guys i will see you in the next one